Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So I'm out here actually with kind of a school trip. So for one of my classes, we are doing, I'm doing research on herps. I haven't decided what to research. I'm debating whether to do snakes and what's the best thing to flip them under or amphibians and vernal pools. But while I'm here, I'm gonna show you what I find. So first off, I'm not going to be able to record much of this because I'm going to be with a group. So yeah, but I will show pictures. So already I found a toad, which is here. I found a bunch of garter snakes. I'm giving myself time to put up the pictures. And I found a Nerodia who gave me some nice bites. But now, because I found both of the, all of those already, except the toad, a milk snake. This here is an Eastern milk snake, a gorgeous snake. I have actually not found one of these this year because they are quite rare, but I flipped this guy under a piece of carpet, but I absolutely love milk snakes. They are gorgeous snakes. This one's a darker individual, more of a chocolate milk snake, as some people might call them because they're, this guy's more brown. Yeah, I flipped him under one of these carpets over here, which I'll show you guys. So the carpets are here, the tins are here. So garter, there are a bunch of garter snakes under these carpets, which I showed you guys pictures of. And there is, is he still here? Because since I have you guys, I might as well show you. Let me flipping something. I'm gonna keep hold this milk snake in this hand. So sorry about that in front for a second. But the Neurodia is right under here. It's a pretty big guy, pretty feisty. He got a few good nips on me. But there is a few, still a few things of carpet I haven't quite flipped. There's a garter snake going down there. Another one right here. This one's also in blue. Um, there's this piece of carpet here. Sorry about the milk being in the way of the camera. I put the phone on upside down accidentally. Not that it matters much, but oh, here's a, another garter. Very pretty little guy. And more garters back there. Yeah, garter snake heaven. Here's one of them sticking their head out. But yeah. So, Eastern milk snake. Kind of like a chocolate variant of one. And I'm going to take some pictures. Brad to some people. And let this guy go. Alright, because this guy's been so good. I'm gonna, and he was right under here. I am gonna. All right. You'll just chill right here. Don't forget your I won't. We're just going right down this way. All right. If you follow the trail past the cemetery, there's a small footbridge next to All right. I'll meet you there. Adios, little guy. And I'm gonna keep hiking. Because, as you just heard, I am with the group still. So, but I am debating. Do I want to do snake project or amphibian project? With this milk, I'm leaning a lot more towards snake. Oh, but mo one more thing while I get back. I smell like absolute shit now. Because that garter snake, or one of the garter snakes, must all over my leg. So right now, I smell like snake shit to be quite frank and still have a little blood by that just because it's an erodia which i'm actually quite surprised he was up here but there is a vernal pool down over there so he was probably just in the vernal pool looking for frogs and tadpoles and then came up here to get some worms all right let me meet back up with the group and hopefully we can find more things finally after seven over 17 years searching, I have finally found this snake. And that snake is a Decay's Brown snake. Yeah. After 17 years, after 17 and a half years, I have been looking for this snake. This snake has eluded me for so long. And today I have found it. 
And now you guys might be saying, Dylan, you're crazy. It's just a Decay's Brown Stain. How cool, is, how boring is that? Well, for me, this is actually an amazing find because I've never found one as I was said twice. And this is a little baby Decay's Brown Snake, which is adorable. I am gonna let them go, even though they can be kept as pets. I do not wanna, I will not keep my first one as a pet. Also, at this age, they're pretty hard to keep. And yeah, absolutely gorgeous to me, Decay's Brown Snake. So yeah, can you focus on the snake, not my hand? But yeah. I'm gonna take a few pictures and then let this gorgeous girl go. Alrighty, so right back where I found you. Get back underneath your piece of wood. Alright, bye little guy. Maybe I'll see a few of your brothers. <laughs>